Okay, so you've seen this. Now this has been a long time of work, constant building and just, you know, work in general. So I, oh hey, hi Barry, how you doing? So yeah, this has been a long run in the making, a, a lot of time is nearly complete, I can safely say and it will be up soon but I'm thinking that you guys are probably unaware of the amount of changes that has happened in the spawn so we have decided to do a before and after shot of all of this stuff that has changed because as you can see there's a lot of stuff going on right now a lot of stuff has been completed all the exteriors are done we're still working on the interiors we've got other stuff we need to do and after that it is complete and we will be live so i'm just gonna do a fly through <laughs> ignore that thing that popped up um and we will uh get into actually doing this before and after it's the Knights Guild, it's completely done. All the guilds are done. They're 100% done. Castle is 100% done. Um, we've got we've got a few houses still to do and like all of the, uh, the odd houses, mostly the ones over here that aren't complete and there's some in like the main area that aren't. But other than that, it is complete. The building work is complete. I still want to do some things around like the outside around the paths and stuff because at the moment uh, if I just come over here so this is like a promenade to get to this side of the spawn that's the bastion so as you can see it is looking really nice but like the sides of the paths look kind of empty especially right like around here so I believe you see me talking to all the NPCs. So yeah, we've got work to do still, but it is mostly done. So it will be up very soon, we're hoping. There you got the uh, staff room in here. So that's all there. That needs to be updated as well. Like <laughs> we've been too occupied with other things, we haven't updated the staff room. So before I get into the actual thing, talking about staff room, applications are open. I've, I've said many times that, applica uh, that they are open. So if you want to be a staff member, you just got to apply. And uh, me, Callum, and Spud, and Ash, who is our admin, we will go through any applications and you might get staff. But we are kind of desperate for staff right now, just so that we have staff for when we open. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> this is my plea, if you want to be a staff member, apply. <laughs> so you have a higher chance of getting into the staff team at the moment because we do need staff members. So if you want to be a staff member, now is your chance. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got all of this done. And yesterday from when I'm recording this, I did all of the paths. All of the paths are complete now. So all of these are like completely smoothed off. So right so right before it was like a block high but now it's half a block so you can just yeah you know, run up without having to jump you're welcome <laughs> but that was just really annoying me for so long i was watching back all the trailers and stuff you could just see me jumping up all these blocks just to do like really nice replay shots but nah so you just gotta watch me jump and that's really annoyed me so yeah the news is it's almost complete and i know that you guys are getting impatient i am fully 100 percent aware of that i've had so many people asking when is the release date when's the release date it's soon it is very soon so we're not going to set a deadline as per se we're just trying to gonna try and get it out as quickly as we can so right now we're just 
trying to work as hard as we can just to get it complete. <laughs> it's taking time. It is taking time. I, did, I also did some work down here as well. So, Assassin's Cave. It's all smoothed out. This was an absolute nightmare. I'm not going to lie. Just to walk up and down before. And I was just like, okay, I need to sort this out and actually make it smoother. And so I was into the nether portal. So, yeah, that's all done. I've put in like a little barrier here. You can, obviously, still, if you fall in here, you can still get out. So it's not that hard. So yeah, everything is well on track to being complete. Oop. So this bit up here really needs work. This is just empty. Why is there a pig? Interesting. If you see that bit down there, uh, it was in the last trailer briefly. Um, it's our little organizing area. So that won't be there by the time the server is released. Why are you cut off? I swear. Right. Batteries. Just batteries. <laughs> so yeah. A lot of things are on the way. We are well into the last stretch now. So yeah. It's almost there guys. It is almost there. And yeah, I think that's enough stalling. I'll get into the old, the completely raw version of this. So I won't be releasing the seed because that would be cheating for you guys. So, although there will be a world barrier soon. We will put up a world barrier. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on the distance of the world barrier just yet. But we'll work something out. It's gonna... I don't know, 50k maybe? I don't know. So you're gonna have a lot of space to roam around, build up your houses and stuff. So that's gonna, you're, you're gonna have plenty of space. If you have any questions about Guild Hall or what it's gonna be, just don't ask when it's gonna release because we're not sure. All we know is it will be soon, as I keep saying. But yeah. If you have any questions about what Guild Hall is going to be about, how it's going to work and stuff, just just DM us. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Shush, Barry. I know you're talkative. By the way, this is Barry. He's the uh, the spawn dragon. So he flies around spawn. He's um, our drunk dragon. Can you shush? You're so noisy, Barry. <laughs> he's our drunk dragon. So he's a bit wobbly. <laughs> yeah, Barry's great. <laughs> so, yeah. That is that. All the NPCs are done. If, from what I'm aware of, Spud might come back because he's our NPC man and do some more. We've got Sentinels. So, if you look, this is the first time you're seeing this, guys. So, um, this in here. If there is. This is our survey rules and spawn map. I won't go through the rules because the rules are over here. Spawn map is over here. So I'll do the, the spawn map, but I won't do the rules because that's for you to find out. Oh, I need to put some carpet down here. Oh. So this is our spawn map. It's a little bit cluttered. I'm aware of that, but it's needed. So we've got multiple shops. So those are the yellow ones. So for example, this guy. So you probably saw his chat line right there. There we go. It is suspicious that I stand inside the staff room selling st selling heads of the staff members. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, he is that one right there. So each one, each yellow head. That's probably an easier way, easier way to do this, but we went we went for this one. Each yellow head is a shop. So they're all spread out around spawn. So there's a lot of stuff that you can buy. And then we have something called the Sentinels. So they're just dotted around. And our lovely Fergus right here is one of them. And then Alfie. These two are actually named after my, my real life pets. So Spud did them. I don't know why he named them after my our real life pets, but hey. <laughs> But yeah, the Sentinels, 
they enforce one of the rules. So there is a rule where actually I'll just show you guys this one. So this one. So any, under any circumstances, are, is any player allowed to lead wardens to another player's house or server build? No, so obviously spawn being a server build, if you bring a ward on here, you will be banned. <laughs> but to help, I swear, the boys just want to annoy me with TNT everywhere. So yeah, if you be a bit naughty and lead a warden into spawn then you're gonna get you know you're not gonna get banned but the sentinels will completely wipe out the the warden or any other mob that you might bring in so we got bubbles here he's another one you saw in um behind the development so you saw rusty who's over here there he is he's also another one so we've got we've got a few that have dotted around that deal with any mobs that we don't want in spawn. Spawn is protected, it's mob protected, it's mob griefing protected, but you know, people might be a bit silly and decide to bring a warden into spawn, so we were just like, okay, we kinda need to protect anyone that's actually wandering around spawn, especially new play players that don't have good gear. <laughs> so we were like, okay. We, we need to protect these people. It's actually so nice looking at the night skilled at night time. That's sword though. Hang on. Let me turn on uh, shaders. Look at that. It's so pretty. So yeah. The sword is the night skilled. So if you're wondering. That's why. <laughs> why is there just random animals? They shouldn't be spawning. So we got another sword out the front. But yeah. The big sword is also nice guild. If you're also wondering, the arena over here, that is also for the nice guild if needed. So if you want to have PvE practice, because the nice guild is all about PvE. So if you want to have PvE practice, just ask a senior staff member and they'll do something. Just not all the time. We might just have like practice days or something. But yeah, that is uh, the nice guild. That is complete. It is one hundred percent complete. All the interior is done, as I've said before. So got some suits of armor. Hi, Ayota. Welcome to the nice guild. Thank you. And that's his little mascot. I went with Arthur because Arthur of the knights. Uh, Arthur and the knights round table. King Arthur. There we go. I've been watching too much Merlin lately. I swear. So yeah, <laughs> it's, it's all complete. <laughs> And then you got the room up here. I mean, I've already shown Knight's Guild. I might as well show the other guilds. I haven't really gone into the detail of all the all the guilds yet, especially the Assassin's Guild, because the Assassin's Guild's got a lot going for it. So Assassin's Guild is right over here. Use it rather. Right oh my God, Barry, you're so loud. <laughs> so you see the little thing that's popped up. That is a thing for Knight's Guild. So this is all the interior. We've gone for a ruined kind of look for it. So it's got like lots of holes in the ground which you can walk over. These are barrier blocks so you can just walk over it. Hi Thunder. So this is the bounty board. So you can set bounties on people's heads. And then you can come in here. This is a just little throne room. <laughs> no, I do. Detris. Sorry Detris. <laughs> And then if you come up here, all the way up, it's kind of an annoying staircase, but hey, Julius. And then in here is the PvP training area for the Assassin's Guild. So we've got the training dummy here, which is the thing at the top of the screen. So you can come in here and, and fight him. He will attack you too, so it's a lot of PvP, PvP practice for him. At the moment, we're pretty much saying that anyone can come in here. But it's primarily for assassins. You don't get any reward for, for killing him, by the way. You can kill him. He'll just respawn. So, so you'll get. I'm just really showing you guys around this whole thing, just to actually show you the contrast between what we've got now and um what we started with. So if we go into the Nether, there we go. So this is the new Nether hub. 
So a lot has changed since the previous Nether Hub. You saw it in the first progression trailer. So we've gone bigger. <laughs> this whole place is protected from like gas explosions and stuff. So it's completely safe. But after here, PvP is enabled. Same with the overworld. So once you get out of spawn, PvP is enabled. Um, but we wanted to protect it anyway, so we've got like some bedrock. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. And we've got a, uh, another sentinel in here. So if anyone wants to lead with their skeletons into the overworld, they can't do that. <laughs> I might ask Spud to put it right in the middle. But you never know. <sighs> and then we've got... I'm honestly just showing you all the stuff before you go into the actual raw thing. And then we've got over here, actually, this one's closest. This is <laughs> this is Merchant Guild. So Merchant Guild run, run by Mr. Callum. So got the meeting room in here. And then we've got a Baldwin up here. You've seen him before and his little mascot Bert. And then that's Aota's no, I keep saying Aota. My brain isn't working still. So we got Amaldo's room in here. It's full with gold because if you don't know, let me just come down here. Uh yeah. This is the merchant guild, the grey wolves. So I actually need to change the text because we actually removed the names. Because we don't want to add extra confusion. But money join us. So yeah. Merchant guild like money. And then down here we've got all of this stuff. So it goes all the way back to here. This is so much nicer than our first version of Merchant Guild. <laughs> you saw me building it. It's yeah. It's complete. I had to, to bar this off because people would share the sheep. Don't worry, this is all these animals are protected. There's no no harm done to these animals if you're concerned about that <laughs> so yeah we've got the new sh uh, maintenance yard for the ships and the locked up lock ports so these are the, the two lock ports right here and this is the rest of the port we've got windmills and we've got the majestic all brilliant farming guild i'm only saying that because it's my guild <laughs> So all the paths are done. These are the new greenhouses built by my our lovely Alan. So Alan is our newest member of the staff. So yeah. So this is the farming guild, the big 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 tree. Um the farming guild, although it may look the biggest, it's got the least of stuff inside it. So we got ER Why? 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 Hey, <sighs> <laughs> got Yara in there with her trusty companion uh, Arnold. So she is the guild hero for farming. And then we go up here, which I still need to do. It's just, I'm terrible at doing this. <laughs> and it goes all the way up here. So probably farming does need a bit more work in regards to interiors, but it won't take long. So yeah, you've got the, the four greenhouses, there's one there as well. And then over here, I just increase speed. We've got the prison. So in the follow-up video for that was my experiment. I need to remove that. <laughs> so <laughs> I was changing the doors. Uh so Let's just remove this, shall we? There we go. Magic. Never happened. So yeah, I was I was changing the doors because we put on the flags for spawn, the protection flags, and we were kind of like, or I was kind of like, okay, can people actually press buttons when um, the flags are are up? So. These are now somewhat automated, so you can just make a bit of noise and you can walk through. It's probably a more efficient way of doing it, but this is my way. <laughs> and these are also, can you, thank you, this is the cafeteria. It's kind of plain, but you know, 
It's a prison. There's not really much you can see. And then we got these guys down here. So these are Edison and Solomon. They're kind of they're having a bit of fun with this prison guard. So yeah, that is the progress. We get the lighthouse as well, and the church on the way here as well. The castle does also have a church in here as well, because why not? <laughs> uh, if I can remember correctly, where it is? Is this one? Yeah. So this is the little church. So yeah, this is the progress so far, and I've been doing a lot of progress reports, um, but I don't really explain stuff, obviously, in those videos. So I thought, why not explain it while I'm doing this video? You are the bane of my existence, I swear. <laughs> so yeah, that is the progress so far, explained. Uh, but yeah, I will go on to doing the seeds now. So just one last look, one last flyover, just to get a little comparison. <laughs> He's so loud. So one last flyover, ignore that. So all of this. By the way, if you don't know what this is, this is a monument to Techno because he obviously passed away during our development. I should probably add to that because Queen Liz. She's gone now. Rest in peace. Rest in peace to Queen Liz. And being British you'd think that I would probably say that. <laughs> so yeah. My last overlook. It's all complete. All the exteriors go away Barry. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I will actually Stop stalling and get into this um, seed. Okay, so we are on the raw seed. I'm around the farms area, so at the end of the farms. I'm just looking down for the suspense, you know I, how much I love that. So this is uh, literally the end of the farms. A lot has changed, including that. So, get into that in a second. A lot has changed, we've done so much terraforming to get everything right. You can notice as we fly around there's a lot of holes around, a lot of caves in the raw version. And that in particular was one of the biggest um, terraforming things, if you don't know what that is already. <laughs> this is the prison! So this is, yeah as I said this is the prison. It's a lot smaller. <laughs> So yeah, we certainly expanded. It came all the w or it comes all the way around here. So that was a big terraforming project. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, the old the the original prison island. So if we come in here, so this is all farms. This whole area here, you see, it's completely covered in trees. So this farm, the farming guild is up here. That is the current farming guild. <laughs> so we've got a like, nice big cave here. We got a uh, ruined portal down there. So it's actually a really good seed. So <laughs> yeah, it came out of a ruined portal, even though we removed it. But that is the ne that's the new or the old. Sorry, that is the old shipyard, the very first shipyard. <laughs> so we've got the the gate bridge here. So that came out. I think, I can't remember if we expanded this way a little bit, it might have done, it might not have, but we definitely increased the size of the canal here. And then we've got the courtroom here, we've got the park, we got the tavern here, very large hole <laughs> that was definitely filled in. We've got like the lighthouse around here, I think I cut this off and I just when I was like okay what can we put here oh yeah a lighthouse I brought it back out again we got the church around here we've got the night guild so this is where the night guild uh, is now placed so right on top of this hill and obviously it comes all this way and this is the castle so you can probably tell the castle probably wouldn't have fit, fit, fitted up here so we uh 
or I expanded this way quite a lot. <laughs> So with the three versions of the castle, they gradually got larger <laughs> in regards to space. Um, they expanded quite considerably. So this was pretty much where the second castle came out to. And then we just expanded a little bit more outwards this way. So this, this little patch of snow is still there. <laughs> we should probably remove it, but... Yeah, we got a large cave here. So if you're looking at perspective of where things are. So this right here is where the town hall is. And then up here. So this bit was actually already flat. So this bit up here is where the, the uh, arena is. But um, because the arena is so big, we could have probably fit it into this area here. But we were like, nah. We're going to make it a little bit bigger so we completely flattened that whole bit off. Down here, we have quite a large cave. It's definitely an understatement. This is the Assassin's Cave. Not just the Assassin's Cave, because we split it in two. Because in the second progression video, you saw something new. This is the mines. So this, uh, this bit here... Just this bit and the bit that goes back here. This is the mines. And then we opened this bit up, I think. So we've literally done a tunnel or a cave, man made cave, from the castle to here. Ooh, we're just breaking blocks to the ocean. So let's say the castle was here. We did a tunnel from the castle because there's a pond. And the castle gardens we've done a waterfall from that down underground to the mines which then goes down to here so it runs down here and then that goes into the ocean about here so that is that this whole thing was dripstone so we removed all of the dripstone from here we filled in this area because it looked a bit weird just floating so this whole bit here was filled in. We removed all the holes. There's a very large hole and a ravine here. So we removed the ravine. So that's all completely filled in. And then obviously we filled up the holes because otherwise the town hall wouldn't be there. This stayed here. So this water bit here, this stayed here. We expand, we just kind of shaved this bit off. This is all still here. So, if you want to go for a swim in the in the mines, you can. So, yeah, that is the mines. And then we've got the Assassin's Cave. So, I'll go into the Assassin's Cave in a sec. So, before we even started building, we went around the entire area around here and just smoothed everything off. We did so much terraforming. We got rid of all the trees. This place was completely bare of trees and then we just worked around that because working with trees is such a pain when building so we just like yeah just get rid of it so i said in the follow-up that this cave was here that is true this cave was definitely here so this is where the assassin's guild actually is right here so detrith probably stands a little bit into here this cave was definitely here that was fun because we found that when we were doing the PvP arena. So, or the training area. So then we did terraforming around here. We flattened this all out. We obviously put the big tree here because there's two big trees. And then this is the cave. Now I said in the follow-up video that it is massive. <laughs> that was an understatement. <laughs> so it goes all the way back here this cave is still here by the way we didn't fill it in completely we just blocked it off and then the water that that went that water but ooh, that's a drip stain this one over here didn't and the one up here didn't so that one there these are still here. They, we've just made this a bit smaller because it, it's actually massive. <laughs> yeah. 
this is so big. I went exploring when I uh, loaded, loaded in the seed before I did this video. And I just went exploring and this cave just goes on for so long. It's crazy. You guys are probably going to be quite glad that we blocked off most of it because otherwise we'd be here for another year. So, <laughs> yeah. We, we did a lot of removal. So, it goes all the way back here. I'm sure it was a lot larger than this. Should I go inspect it? So, <laughs> shish, noisy zombies. So yeah, this is the cave. <laughs> That's not a cave. So it goes all the way around here. This is all of it right here, all the dripstone. We do have a deep, a deep dark down here. I noticed it when I was doing it before. Where is it gone? It's definitely here. I don't think it's how oh there it is. It's not helping when I got shaders on. So yeah, a lot has changed. So yeah, this is the assassin girl. So we blocked off all this. So all this was blocked off. Also, if we kept all this, it would be an absolute nightmare to light it all. So we kept it simple. <laughs> So yeah, as I keep saying, we blocked it off everything here. Um, this obviously stayed, this bit, and it was just cut off underneath. And then we filled it with water. As you can see in the trailers and progress report videos. So that's all done. And then this has changed. <laughs> so this island was moved over there because we kind of like, okay, if we're going to build a port, then we're going to have to make this deeper. So you can see very large mound here. So we made this deeper. We got rid of this, all of this completely. And then we made an island over here because we were like very into having the idea of having like a really big tower in the middle of the port area which obviously turned into spawn tower so we moved the island and we put it over here that's where spawn tower was made up here spawn tower if you don't know was the very first building ever created on here so it's very special <laughs> and then obviously we've done the port around here so all of this is completely done there's a ravine here as well so we removed that which also leads it leads into a very large cave. Well, not very large. It's still pretty big. And then obviously the tree. So you guys have no idea how much terraforming it did to make this the way it was or the way it is. So this took so much work just to get this like smoother and less steep. So <laughs> it took a lot of work. So yeah. That was fun. So this was completely flattened off and then it just kind of dips down a little bit in steps in terraces. So that that was fun. So one fact about the farming guild. The current farming guild is actually version 2. We had another version before. So there was one thing that we took from the original farming guild and that was the windmill. So the farming guild has a massive windmill on the front. So we took that from the old farming guild, the old building, and we reused it because I liked it. <laughs> and then we were just kind of like, okay, I'm not really happy about the original building. Let's just change it. So the original building, I don't know if I've got any screenshots of it, but it was it was huge. It was it was still massive. But it just didn't look right. So we removed it. And replaced it with a very large tree. <laughs> There's so much that has been changed. This massive hole there. That's a really big hole. Oh my god. No, this hole isn't this big. 
Jeez. So, <laughs> yeah. This is a really good spawn. Actually, one thing I'll do, because I showed you nether hub, I will go through the nether. I'll try to get through the exact one on the exact point, but as close as I can. So, yeah. Let's, do, let's go through the nether hub. You'll see that we were stupidly lucky with this seed. So, uh, I think we blocked this bit off and then we came down. So it would be down here. I know we've got the achievement. So it would be about here, I think. making this too big but I don't care <laughs> so this I think it in the wrong place so this is the nether hub so it needs to be a little bit this way because when I put in the nether portal it was literally here this was where the portal was like I could not believe it <laughs> I literally put the portal here accidentally so as you can see spawn nether hub is right by a fortress <laughs> so this is why i thought oh my god this is like the best seed we could have possibly asked for so i had no idea this was here when i got the seed so we literally started building spawn before we even went in the nether so we didn't have a clue that this was here and then we were kind of like, okay, we should probably get the nether hub in now. So we went through the portal, or we made the portal, we went through it, and we came in here. And it was kind of like, what just happened? There's so many weather skeletons. What earth is happening here? <laughs> yeah, we were stupidly lucky with our spawn. And we love it so much. So Nether Hub obviously has gone through so much. So all of this, all of this here is gone. All of this is gone. All of this is gone. So this is completely gone. And then we built the hub here around the original uh, portal. So it wasn't it wasn't down there. I just got it in the wrong place. It was here. So we did the nether hub here, the original. We put off the bridges. So there's four bridges that go off from the hub. So one in each direction. This way is a bit weird because this goes on for a very long time. So it kind of stops. So if you want to come this way in the nether hub, you have to build. So I think I stopped it around here, the bridge. So you'd have to build the rest of the way because I'm lazy. <laughs> And yeah, this way was kind of easy because, you know, this was already here. So yeah, it was quite the substantial work to get another hub done. And then we decided to redo it because we thought looking at spawn and then looking at the old nether hub that we did, the nether hub looked inferior. <laughs> so we redid it to make it look a bit more extravagant and fancy so that's why we have a new nether hub so yeah it's a really good spawn and i'm so happy that we found it so i know this has been a bit of a long video already but i know you guys have been like really somewhat interested in the server and i know a lot of you have gone when's release date i really want to play <laughs> One thing, I really appreciate that, guys. I'm super happy that you guys are excited for what we've been doing. And, you know, it really makes me happy that you guys are actually interested. But, you know, I like, keep you guys interested while we're doing this. <laughs> Bit more suspense, you know, all that stuff. So, yeah. Oh, this was all completely terraformed as well. This bit over here. So as, you, as you can see, this is quite steep. So we brought this out a little bit and we put a path all the way around because you could, see, when I just went through on the actual server, you could see that this was 
completely learn the path all the way around. That was done by hand. Well, not by hand, but by world editor in Voxel. So that's all completely done. So this was the, I'm going to call it the promenade. I, I, I'm going to say it's the promenade. I don't really know what else to call it. If you guys have a name for it, give it. <laughs> just, just tell me. So, yeah. That is the the original seed. It's crazy how much work has actually gone into it so far. I again, I really appreciate you you guys support in our little project. It's not really that little, to be honest, considering I've gone through everything. It's quite a big project. <laughs> I mean, when I did Mineria, that project was massive and it took a whole year to do. So Mineria took a whole year to complete. This has taken April, we're in September now. A reasonable amount of time. It's been a lot and we've been, we've had a lot of stuff going on in, in real life for each of us as well. So we've been trying to fit everything in. It's been crazy. But yeah. I'm going to stop rambling because it's already already a really long video and you probably don't want to hear me talking for like an hour. So yeah, that is everything. And I thought that it would be interesting for you guys to actually see what we started off with and how we've changed things and how we shaped spawn and stuff. So I hope you guys actually found this interesting because I haven't actually been on the original seed since the start. So it was really interesting for me to see everything, how everything has changed and stuff. So I kind of wanted to do this as well for you guys as a video, just because it is really interesting to see how everything has actually changed and how everything has progressed. So I thought it was really f a, a cool idea for you guys to actually see what has happened. And you guys haven't actually seen the original seat. So yeah, I thought it would be interesting for you. Then pumpkins. Or oh, a pumpkin. Interesting. <laughs> it's, it's the start of the farm, guys. <laughs> yeah, that is all I'm going to do for this video. It's been a long one. I apologize. Me talking about guilt was always been a long video. The follow up video was like 50 minutes long. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please have a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. It means a lot of the amount of support. And if you haven't joined the Discord already, the link will be in the des description below. And if you want to apply for stuff, please do. <laughs> so, yeah. That is it for this video. And hopefully, hopefully, we will see you on Guild Hall soon. Bye bye! What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life Deep connection